Welcome everybody! A new update for the MIDI plugin Chord Potion is now available. I added quite a few features that help you create your own arpeggios and melody generators even faster than before. Chord Potion is a MIDI plugin that transforms your chords into new melodies, bass lines and patterns. You can send the generated notes live to other synths or you can use the built-in MIDI recorder to export the data as a MIDI file. Chord Potion has a powerful built-in step sequencer. In the sequencer, you can specify which notes should be played. In this example, I've created an arpeggio. I can add more notes in the sequencer or change the triggers. But in this video, I want to show you another way to quickly change the pattern. At the bottom left, you can see the new Actions button. When I click on it, we can see a context menu with useful actions. For example, I can use shrink to reduce the pattern to half its length. Or I can use stretch to make the pattern longer. If the notes are too long, I can set the maximum note length to one or two. If I want to have long notes again, I can choose Remove all stop symbols. I can also reverse the pattern by clicking on Reverse. It would be helpful if the first step is a note again. So I click Shift Steps minus 1 a few times to shift the pattern. All these new tools have been added in Chord Potion 2.4. But there's another new feature in this release. Imagine you frequently use different types of chords. Sometimes you use chords with bass notes as input, other times chords without bass notes. Or perhaps you use only triads sometimes and other times a mix of triads and four note chords. In the sequencer, zero always refers to the lowest note of the chord, one to the next note and so on. When working with bass notes, 0 and 1 are very far apart. When working without bass notes, 0 and 1 are very close together. To address this, there's a new input chord effect. Stack two other notes on top of bass. When you activate this effect, Chord Potion will transform the input chord like this. The bass note is kept and Chord Potion selects two of the remaining notes that sound as harmonious as possible. These notes are added to the bass note. This effect is useful for normalizing the input chord. I hope you enjoy using Chord Potion. See you next time.